Hi, I'm Susan Marlowe, and I'm an artist at the Blue Ridge, in the Blue Ridge Mountains, North Carolina. And uh, today I'm going to show you how I like to use prints. Um, my process for applying prints to uh, a painting panel. So I started out doing original, original painting. This is original collage right here. Um, so what I did was take a photocopy of, of that painting. And um, actually I did a photocopy of, of this painting. This is actually the print. Um, and I'm going to show you how I fix it to a panel. So in other words, instead of putting a print behind glass, I like to affix it to the panel and then put enough c a cover over it so that it doesn't ever have to be framed. Um, I really like things that are not under glass and this is a really affordable way to uh, present a print and the buyer has, doesn't have to worry about framing it so they're getting, in my view, they're getting a bargain as well. So here I have a panel and I've gessoed the gessoed the front of it with white gesso and use black gesso on the sides because that will be my uh, my finished edge actually will be the black on the on the sides I like that here's my print um, and I'm going to use Golden's extra heavy gel to, to um, apply this print so I'm going to put a fairly good amount on. Both both the panel and the print. But I don't want it I want it a good coverage but not so thick that it's going to really squish out the edges when I put it on. I'm using a popsicle stick as my applicator. I save those for times such as this. So that's enough for the panel. Uh, this looks white, but it's going to dry clear, so you don't need to worry too much about it. You can wipe off what you didn't get, what, what comes out the sides, because some will. So now I'm putting a thin layer as well on the print with my popsicle applicator. Try not to get any on the front of it because I'm going to have to put some weight on top of it. And if I put, if I get goo on the front of the print, it's going to stick to my weight. So I don't want to do that. So here I've got thin coat on the actual print itself. I'm going to take a minute and wipe off my hands because if I don't, it'll get all over the front. Okay. So I'll smooth that out just a little bit. I got it on my hand again. So now we're going to apply this print to the panel. And when I put my um, my black on the sides, I put it over a little bit on the front too because uh, sometimes the print doesn't exactly fit but I had already planned to make a print the same size as the panel that's available so that it will fit ex perfectly. So it's kind of got my edges approximated here. So I'm going to start the middle and apply a little pressure out to get rid of any extra of the um, gel or in any air bubbles out. See that's showing a little bit of the support but that's okay because I painted it black so it's going to make, make it blend in a little bit. I'm not going to worry about that. 
Um, sometimes I like to use a brayer as well for my paper towel. So here we go. From the center out, just kind of medium pressure because you don't want to make lines in your print, which is so you don't want to be real aggressive with it, just firm from the um, from the center out to all the sides. That just gives it a better adherence and a smoother look. I have a squeaky brayer. Okay, it's done. Um, I'm not worried about these edges are poking up just a little bit because I'm going to put a weight on and I'm going to be really good and not peak for 24 hours. That's the hard part. Um, so here comes my weight. Nice heavy box or you can use books, pilot books, and just put it directly straight on and no peaking for 24 hours. When you bring it up, it'll be a real strong adherence, nice and smooth. And uh, then from there, I will put the, self, the golden self-leveling gel and finish up with a golden varnish. This is what it will look like when it's finished. To me, it, it almost looks like the original. And then I just put a little hanger on the back of it and it's um, ready to go, ready to hang. Thanks for stopping by.